Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can watch um, iPlayer abroad. Um, this is the BBC iPlayer application which um, contains all their programs so you can watch stuff like the news, a match of the day and um, anything really. They, brought, they, they put most of their stuff out on the BBC iPlayer application. Um, now I'm currently in France uh, so I'm going to show you the problem and how to fix it with BBC iPlayer. When you're in France and you connect with Fire French I ISP, you actually have an IP address that is that marks you out as being in France. Um, it works the same anywhere. If you connect from Spain, you have a Spanish IP, uh, German, German IP, and so on. Um, the problem is BBC iPlayer looks at that IP address and then looks up the location of it when you connect. So I can show you here when I try and access the BBC iPlayer application and click on play I'll get this message I'll, you'll get this wherever you are um, currently BBC iPlayer are only available to play in the UK blah 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 you can watch some of the radio programs um, BBC iPlayer has looked up my IP address um, it's uh, seen that I'm in uh, France and give me this message it works the same for all the other um, applications here's the ITV version ITV player um, if I go and access something here, play now, uh, it's asking me to sign in, play, sorry this video is not available to play in your region, um, anywhere basically outside the UK you'll get this message, channel 4, channel 5, um, lots of the other um, online media stations will, will do the same. So how do we get through it? Well, basically, we have to fool uh, the website that we're in a different place, i.e. the UK. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to show you how we change it. OK, I use a program called Identity Cloaker. Um, it's a security program, and it's basically, um, it's basically uh, designed to protect your privacy online. Um, it's primary use and the reason I bought it was um, because I travel a lot and most um, I use a lot of unsecured Wi-Fi at cafes, hotels, pubs, stuff like that and I have to do my banking and use PayPal and stuff like that when I'm traveling which is really really unsafe basically. Um, so I've got this program, what it does, it encrypts your entire connection so nobody can intercept anything. Um, <coughs> so it, it's extremely convenient for somebody who travels a lot. Um, but also it has this um, great facility where you can hide your location as well um, from the web server you're visiting. So um, the encrypted connection is set up by connecting to one of Identity Cloaker's servers. Um, there's hundreds of these um, all over the world. Now, if you're just in, uh, bothered about security, it doesn't really matter where you pick, you know. Um, but if you're outside the UK, for instance, and you want to watch um, British TV or access a British-only site, you can just connect through to uh, a UK server. So let's just pick one of the UK servers and connect. It'll, it'll connect to the UK server there and I just minimize it. It just sits in the taskbar down here. Uh, and now I go to restart my browser. Uh, you can see now it goes to Google UK because it thinks I'm in the UK, even though I'm in France. Uh, we'll go to the BBC website where we just went before, and let's go to BBC iPlayer, um, try and play some of the content. Uh, and there it goes, gives me the warning. And it's going to play. And you can see it streams perfectly well over the internet. Um, and you can watch whatever you like. It buffers a little bit to start the program, just so it's got some uh, leeway. And uh, there we go. You can see it works perfectly. Let's go to the ITV site. Um, ITV player. Here we go to ITV player, play it. You can see we got the message last time when we pressed this. That still wants me to sign in. And here we go. <coughs> and you can see it's showing um, 
playing ITV. So you can use any of the ITV content um, as if you were in the UK. Um, it's very easy to use. It's called that Entity Cloaker. Um, the advantage is, there are several advantages. If you just want it for watching video and online stuff and stop getting blocked, the beauty is that they have so many servers and they're all very fast. Um, you can see there are um, servers in Switzerland, Germany, Poland, Russia, hundreds in the UK. It's because a lot of people use UK proxies. Um, Ireland, you want to watch RTE, M6 Replay, Spain, Portugal, Italy, um, Sweden, and loads of US servers because there's some really, really good US only sites. And if you've got, if you connect via one of those, you've got a US IP address and you can watch them. Um, some good stuff in Canadian and Australian TV as well, if you try those, check those out. Okay, um, basically you just click and change your location, minimize it, and there you go. Um, it's very easy to use, there's a very reasonable subscription fee, um, there's a discount you should see on the top of my screen if you do fancy it. Um, the, the speed is top notch and that's very important when watching video because um, if you stream stuff and it keeps buffering all the time and stopping, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, well that's it, that's how to watch iPlayer Abroad. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching, goodbye.